jump I got my coffee before I started the 100. I've been feeling out of it and I don't want to be feeling out of it while I'm watching the 100 because I love this show and the last thing you need uh, to a show that you love is to just not feel that energy. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, it, it's a Monday. I mean, you can't blame me. But uh, yeah, this is the 100. This is episode 5 of season 5. This is Shifting Sands. Hello everyone, Liam Caddison here. So, yeah, we had a really, really feisty episode. Everyone who was in the bunker for those six years is finally free. Um, but it's not as simple as things seem to be, uh, isn't it? It's because uh, we've now got a war, basically, as Octavia proclaimed. Um, after Allegis and, I guess, one crew didn't get off to the rosiest of relationships, did they? Um, so, yeah, we've got that uh, going on, as well as the fact that um, Allegis has Abby, uh, as they require her to uh, fix up uh, Charmaine's men up, it seems, uh, on on the prison ship, the 283, who's just been released, who Raven and Murphy have to deal with. So um, I would suggest, if I was Raven or Murphy, I mean, Raven most likely, because she's more chirpier than, than, uh, than Murphy. But if I was, if I was Raven, I would say, if you attack me, you will never find out where the gold is buried. Then that will leave them intrigued, right? See, I got this all worked out. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to checking out what episode 5 has on offer because this season has been pretty, pretty interesting. The, t the tone has definitely felt so different, but it, it not different in a bad way. It's felt so surreal and it's, and the tension is a bit higher, which is funny considering last year, nothing can uh, scream bigger tension than the world coming to an end. But, um, I think it's that unpredictability of, of what the show, uh, has on offer because I didn't like, um, well, I didn't anticipate by the end of season four that we would have a time jump basically. And, uh, things would be a bit different. So, yeah, um, things have have certainly um, changed and I'm, it, it's left me very, very intrigued and I can't wait to delve more into Season 5 of The 100. So, yeah, with that said, the extended reaction will be on Patreon. I am looking forward to this. As always, this show has just been fun non-stop. Uh, this is Shifting Sands, episode number five of Season 5. Let's go. Be safe, okay? <laughs> Miller. Clark's just Miller. Needing to know what the hell happened. How did Miller? How did the human race just dwindle like this? Ready for war? Miller, Yay. wait. He said the sea is gone. Is it passable or not? Yes, maybe. But you have to understand. Maybe's good enough for me. Let's move oh, out. Good. You're not listening. Stand down. Do you have sand in your ears? No, the rubble just affected your common sense you know. or something like that. Octavia, we're all on the same team. No. Am I crazy? Were they gonna kill me for getting in our way? <laughs> <laughs> what do we do? Raven and Murphy are in trouble. I have to go with them. Six day hike. Do sandstorm country. And gladiator calls. Go wrong. <laughs> That's the spirit bell. Do you? <laughs> you really want to let another fifty in? Motivated, disciplined soldiers. Well, I suppose you have a better who idea. Who called dibs first? Because yes. they landed there first. You didn't think that was all I was good for back on the rock? Don't forget oh. yourself. That was torture too. <laughs> Shaw. Oh. Give me oh. Those damn what she's capable of. How many guns she has. How many fighters? Hey! There was a lot of out- Well, I doubt there was a lot of hours being put into to that drawing, but that's rude! Vincent, put the scalpel down. Ah, this is what he was talking about with the demon. <laughs> I'm generally a pleasant person. <laughs> So surviving alone. Well, <laughs> how'd you do it? Well, I wasn't alone. Exactly. 
I had Marty. Who is basically Fire. your adoptive no, daughter. <laughs> Love no one. And no one can hurt you. It's kind of like a similar feeling. Does that make me weak? Indra! I would never say that to you, Seda. It's to say it's a similar thing to what Lexa adopted, kind of, but that um, aged well, didn't it? <laughs> For the no. better, though, I'm not complaining, right. Lexa. Then I hear him screaming out there, they're everywhere. Then I get to him and there's nothing else before screaming. Oh no, it's, it's alien all over again! Oh shit! Never have the face hookers, people. Never right. have the face hookers. Nobody else comes inside. Move. Right here. Oh Help no. Me. Help me get his jacket off. One. A crew. I don't know. Two. Please, I swear to God. Come on, don't, don't even. What? Four. What? Put down the Shoot knife. him. Just shoot him. You're making a mistake. Yeah? Wouldn't be the first time. I love you! I love you, Sean! Get out. She couldn't even if she wanted to. I'm the one who locked the weapon system. This guy deserves all the gold medals. Like... Rosalie freaked out by what she saw in that bunker. And after we opened fire, she knew we were at war. So if I didn't, didn't say you had the missile system, she would have ended it right then and there, and mm -hmm. they'd all be dead. What are you talking about? One of them just took off from the aft airlock. Oh. Good on Murphy. Murphy was the one. Right, awesome. This is called down to Raven's plan. This is all down. Oh, shh. Any more noise? What about Clark? Who's the Hobbit? You know what? <laughs> Oi! Just gotta get don't leave! Leave the buddy alone! Missile. No! Yeah, there's in fire death from above. Riven said that we need to get into radio range. Where's the rover? Bear cave. I'll drive. Don't worry. The bears are gone. Far from gone. <laughs> Murphy's perplexed. Oh man. He's not going anywhere. You son of a bitch! Take her back to her cell. Well done, Shaw. Mm. We'll go hunting when we come back. Goes up in 20. Oh no. Please tell me this is part of the plan. Please. Keep moving. Thanks to you, we're stuck between razor blade winds and borrowing parasitic bugs. Thanks to you, we're at war, Bellamy. Ah! Only if you insist on fighting it. Fight or die. That's all. It wasn't place. even Bellamy's fault, though. I get it. Because you're not one of us. So be cool. Oh no, this is gonna be like alien all over again. No. Jesus Christ. Freaking hell. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's Octavia. Oh no, 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 no. It's for the blood. Now, what are you waiting for? Hey, you gotta stop moving. This Whatever is bad. This is horrible. This, this is, is sick. Oh, she's trying to be strong. I'm Clark, Clark you're gonna lose it. Like hell, I am. I got it. Why? Why is the show so Clark, pull it out. dark? That valley is, and we're taking it back to you easy. The venom's still in your system. I think there's more than one kind of venom in her system. Gee. You just... Oh, boy. Fire in the hole. Bloody hell. One more for good luck. You just get off to this. Luck. No one could have survived that. Take us home. Yeah, but it takes care of the... They would have made it out though, so. Damn, this is really, really bizarre, eerie, and. I 
hate him. I hate him. Which one of these is yours? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Don't cure him. Higher battalion huddled in a sandstorm to protect her. You think an army of murderers and thieves would follow me into a sandstorm? <laughs> Just respecting um, what Terry is doing, I guess. You like tequila? I don't know. I've never What's had this? it. What's what's so going on with these two? Them upstairs, and I knew it was over. So I slashed my own throat. So that's why she's got the mark there. Should have put two in my head. Well, that would be the way to. And your wife. As long as she can do her job, we don't have a problem. Abby's not my wife. No. <laughs> but she should be. <laughs> oh, I think she's trying to push something. <laughs> better than tea, don't you think? Oh, yeah. Anything's better than tea, to be fair. <laughs> Does that mean you're going to bring our people over? Maybe. But first, tell me about Octavia. Yeah, she definitely respects her. <laughs> Admired that su um, survivability. See, none of this spits back. But if you ever speak out against one crew again, no, enemy of one crew. Octavia, come on! And you are my enemy. What's this shit? Come on! Oh, yay! <laughs> oh shit, okay. Everything's gone out the window. Everything's gone out the window. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't blame Octavia because seeing, seeing the person who has been after your life kissing your brother. Ouch. Oof! Oof! <laughs> oh man, but uh, yeah, I was more interested in Clark seeing. Um, Clark didn't seem phased whatsoever. She was like, "Oh, okay, get a room." Uh, I think, and she was more fo focused on Maddie, if anything. So I was more focused on Clark because, uh, like I said, I'm positive there was those vibes, and Clark was just. Kind of chill about it, to be fair. It was Octavia that was given the glare, like, understandably so. But I was thinking, because uh, this is the first... Uh, I'm, I don't know if Bellamy would have made a mention to Clark, but um, and maybe that's why she was so low-key in terms of reaction. But, um, yeah. <laughs> so I think there was a bit of corruption to the sound midway through. Um... I'm just seeing some kind of error on my recording, like, midway through. So, if, for those who are on the extended reaction, if things are a bit quiet, or so, well, if things are probably quiet or whatever, um, then something happened, I have no idea. But it only looks like it's a little bit for some reason. I think it's because I moved the microphone here, and it, I might have caught it. Who knows? But, um, yeah, I'm... I am really enjoying this story, especially Dioza, who is a really, really interesting character. I'm absolutely loving how she's being built this season, especially since she's not like, I wouldn't say, I mean, given what she's done and all that, I wouldn't say she is particularly a ruthless uh, kind of character. Um, she, she, well, that's what, well, it all goes back to what I'm saying. She's in the middle. She has that um ability to open like to to be open with people she listens and um i think her and kane do click on well uh both have that similarity i feel i don't know 
they do feel a bit similar in terms of characters, um, as well as the fact that, I mean, it doesn't help that Dioza is offering Abby um, more pills and all of that, but uh, with the fact that um, it, it must be frustrating for, for Kane to try and pull Abby away from, from the pills, um, and, sh and she's not having that, I'd see, dare I say it, potential, who knows, who knows, um, but... Yeah, it. I mean, her story, her backstory was just really, really great stuff to see. Um, like wh where she was explaining about her father and how she had to cut her throat. Um, so yeah, I really, really enjoy. I'm enjoying Dioza's character. She's she's a very, very interesting one, and um, it's, it's like she does open up to people, and she's a very, very um, like. Of course, we're at war, and she, and and she even rec uh, recognizes uh, recognized the. F I don't know if uh, it's all down to her knowing what um, Shaw would do or something like that. Considering he is the nice one, and it seems like he's only being kept alive because he can be a, pi a good pilot. Um, but she is not like throwing her toys out the pram or whatever. She, like she's not being what McCreary would be like, I guess if uh, he was fully in charge and all of that. Um, yeah. Like she accepts the fact that Octavia's still alive and she's, uh, it seems like she's admiring um, that loyalty that one crew have. So it's just really, really great stuff to see um, Dioza's story being more fleshed out and, and getting to more of Dioza because um, I'm, I'm growing on her. She, yeah, she could be a bit difficult, but she's a very, very interesting character to, to delve into. Um, so yeah, I absolutely, I, I do absolutely love uh, her character so far, but, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm interested to find out more about her. Like we're five episodes, uh, like, well, we know uh, quite a bit about her, but, uh, I'm interested to, to go more into her story, uh, overall in this show. Um, because she is certainly very, very fun to, to, to take in. So I'm really, really loving Dioza's, uh, character. The Allegis characters have all had, have got their own interesting areas. Shaw's, uh, pretty, pretty nice. And he, um, well, even though he did the things, uh, he, like, he was looking more out for himself. He's trying to minimalize, um, uh, it, it's damage limitation, I guess, for Raven and, and Murphy, isn't it? In terms of him helping them out. There's, there was a bit of a, uh, of a moment where I was thinking, oh, uh, when, uh, he said, oh, when he basically ratted out Raven and all of that. Um, I'm as assuming to go along with the plan and considering the fact that Murphy had to tell the people, oh, they're gonna blow up the camp and yeah. So, um, which, uh, word made its way back to the, to the area and, uh, everyone, uh, eventually moved out as we saw uh, but there was a bit of a moment where I thought okay well he's gonna betray Raven p probably to look out more for himself because it seems like he does have that under he's more humane uh, th than Dioza like Dioza is pretty pretty roof uh, can be ruthless not as ruthless as McCreary but uh, she's she's in that middle area but but um, Shaw is like um, opening up, I mean, he was even the one, um, uh, he was even the one to, um, make sure, uh, yeah, he, he was the one behind the whole missile, um, problem on the ground, which they were not able to, to go for, so, yeah, um, but yeah, I was kind of, I don't know, expecting it, um, to look, uh, f to continue him looking more out for himself, considering the fact that he is quite the underdog, it seems, especially with McCreary getting into his face and, and that comment about, oh, you're only alive because you're a pilot, basically. So, um, I was expecting some shenanigans to go down, but, uh, I don't think so. Um, especially with the fact that it, it makes sense, like, with them uh, being able to track Murphy with the with the shock collar, it's not like they have communication, so uh, it's not compromise. So uh, Murphy being let go is not really compromising if you are, I guess, if you like, if it doesn't have communications and all of that, and uh, Murphy can tell everyone, oh, so this is, so they're not eavesdropping basically, and uh, yeah, they uh, it. it eventually go uh, cuts to them trying to blow up the camp thinking oh we've done it and all of that uh but eventually dioza realizes that um 
yeah, they will have moved out. So yeah, um, I'm looking. I'm really interested in um, like Shaw's character and how he gets with uh, on with Raven and all of that, um, because he's a pretty pretty interesting character. Um, he like I said, he's quite the underdog, and he's um, not really looked favorably uh, to to people like uh, McCreary and all of that, and he's too nice. So I, 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 but I am also a bit worried about his character. Like I do feel like something could happen because nice uh, guys finish last and all of that. So, and in terms of Allegis, he's the nicest, um, whereas everyone's a bit more ruthless. Although that some like Dioza has that level of understanding where she's able to listen and she's able to to create some understanding with uh with those who might be a bit of a threat to her. Um. So, yeah, it's not like she's interrogating Kane for Octavia's, uh, for information on Octavia. She's, she's, uh, even offering tequila, which she's never had. So, um, yeah, so she's pretty, pretty understanding, but ruthlessness comes when it comes. Whereas McCreary's like, let's get trigger happy and all. I mean, he was even re ready to offer a second missile because... He's trigger happy McCreary, isn't he? So yeah, um, I'm really, really, I'm really loving the antagonist story in 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 the season five of the hundred because it's just been really, really um, great stuff to see. Um, but it all goes uh, down to um, her trying to. Uh, she's got this it's this difficult character it's it's this difficulty on trying to make the best decisions she can and it's not exactly ruthless and all of that like um it's not like cage where like kane for example said uh like kane tried to convince him to do the right thing but cage didn't listen or for example she's she's got understandability she's got a bit of humanity but she can be ruthless when she has to be so she's in that middle area so i really really love um, uh, I really, really love how, how respectable, uh, respectable that Daoza can, can be, I guess, um, uh, to her, to, and uh, to her antagonists. Uh, um, yeah, the whole situation with, um, Octavia and one crew making their way through the desert to try and get to Shallow Valley. I said Shadow Valley, Valley. I'm so sorry for that. Like my eyes, even when. Like, I have no idea what's going on. No, in all seriousness, no. Um, yeah, I really, really enjoyed the story regarding, um, well, I'm enjoying Octavia's Dark. It, it, it's bearing similarities to season four, isn't it? With, um, uh, that darkness in, in Octavia consuming her. Whereas, she, uh, but in this, um, in season four, she was more of a killing machine, wasn't she? Um, with that attachment to what uh, Pike did to Lincoln and, and that manifested into her. Whereas with this, she's a bit more ruthless. Um, even though she's not uh, basically... A, well, I don't know. That's subjective, I, I guess, considering the fact that she ordered the fighting pits. So she's she's kind of using like a, a, a third party killing machine kind of thing in a sense. Like she orchestrated, like she orchestrated it. So yeah. Uh, but then again, she was basically a bit of a killing machine when she first adopted her, uh, her blood rainer, um, uh, her blood rainer personality, I guess. Um, but that's, that was her setting the foot down. Now she's just, um, a ruthless leader uh, and it's a pretty pretty interesting story to see like um octavia just um creep back into this darkness but it's make it it's corrupting her so much to the point where she's using bellamy as a punch bag again which is absolutely heartbreaking again she blames him for this whole shit situation and it's absolutely destroying bellamy and i thought there was a moment where the, she was gonna open like up to a bit more light to bellamy and all of that but um, we had that moment where she was threatening to to she she's even ready to threatening to kill him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but then again, she has no acknowledgement about love. It seems um, love is a weakness. Uh, it kind of bears similarities to Lexa's um, kind of approach. Um, where she, but then again, uh, it, uh, I think that was all down to attachment, I guess, in a sense. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, 
to Octavia, she's had attachment and, and it was taken away from her, but she's kind of, she kind of clinged back onto a bit of hope after, uh, in the second half of season four and, and ever since she was trapped in the bunker and, uh, uh, what, uh, one crew started playing shenanigans in episode two, she had to set the foot down and, and, uh, be ruthless. So yeah. Um, and, and that includes love as a weakness, I guess. So, um, whereas, uh, Lexa, I feel was more based on her personal experiences with that person she was with. Um, um, I can't remember the name she was with, but, um, uh, like the person she, she did love before Clark, obviously. Um, but with, with, with Clark, it, maybe there's going to be a bit more of temptation for like, uh, there was with Lexa with Clark. Cause, um, Lexa was tempted by Clark, uh, like, well, she had her temptations with Clark, she, she, she fell for her, so it was like, um, damn it, I can't commit to this love is a weakness thing, um, and, and maybe that might, uh, come into fruition, well, there is a bit there with, with Indra's comments, which was really, really beautiful when she said, um, I love you, so, uh, I, I, I was like, um, my heart crushed at that comment. Uh, but maybe there's going to be a bit of light um, to sway o uh, Octavia to um, being a bit more lighter. Being, I don't know, um, because six years is a hell of a long time. So this will um, manifest into her so much where it's like second nature, I guess. Um, we have to remember seasons one to four in, of the hundred... Um, all take place in, well, within a year, I guess, in a matter of a year, um, a bit less potentially, but yeah, uh, whereas six years is like a, a long time to manifest a certain character into, um, into someone like Octavia. So it might be a bit of a stretch to ask Octavia to, to, to snap out of the darkness and, and not be as ruthless and, and, um, cruel i guess but um the things to do to survive i guess that although that worm situation holy shit that was alien levels of of horror um yeah i was not expecting that in this episode that was yeah it's a good job i never ate before like this episode because yeah that would have been a note for me um yeah that was really really morbid um and then we saw it affecting Octavia and, and Clark had to get it out and it was like, oh my god. Um but yeah, it was a it was quite grim, wasn't it? So yeah, awesome stuff. Um But yeah, this was a great episode. Um I don't know if I have anything else more to say. Um because I've got my notes here and uh, I've I've um I've I mean I've all, I'm I'm thinking that Dioza might um have a soft spot for Kane. Um, I do, I don't know. I do think there's something, uh, there might be something going on. Um, especially if Abby is addicted. I mean, like I said, doesn't help that Dioza is, is aiding Abby in the pills and all of that. Um, but yeah, it, it doesn't help. Like that doesn't help Kane and he might want a bit of, I don't know, stability. And like I said, I do think Dioza and Kane are, I don't know, for some reason, something screams that they're similar, so, yeah. Um, we got to see, um, Abby try, um, I'm, I'm wondering what was the, f um, thing that has seemingly infected, um, those who, uh, have, who are in need of the cure, um, whilst they were minding, like, um, what kind of, um, thing that, that infect, it can't be as worse as the, although then again it could be the a it could be like a it could be like a fate hooker couldn't it um but um yeah um abby was working on that and yeah i really really enjoyed this episode i i loved the interactions with maddie and murphy as well when um um oh i'm gonna wonder what's uh like maddie's gonna confront octavian she's gonna be like oh my god you're my favorite um but she's not as um, respected as she was in the tales, um, I guess, um, uh, considering she's now more hardened and all of that, so she's gonna be like, get this kid out my face, uh, get this hobbit, to quote, um, well, to paraphrase what Murphy, uh, called Maddie. I absolutely loved the, um, 
interactions between the pair, though, uh, especially uh, the salt. Well, not the salt, but uh, that bit of shade with Murphy and all of that. Like, I thought you were more funnier and Octavia's my favourite and Murphy seemed hurt by that. So, um, but yeah, this was great. This was a great episode. Uh, I absolutely do love... Um, how things are proceeding because this this season has been absolutely juicy um octavia's story as well like her darkness i mean she was she's being a bit stubborn that's the thing though like it's it this darkness is clouding her judgment um especially when clark was like hey the long route is a bit longer it's only two days longer wasn't it two days longer yeah i think it was eight days because they were worried about rations um um so, yeah, but Clark was saying, this way is better. It's not going to be as dangerous. And Octavia's like, hey, sh sometimes bigger isn't better. Uh, even though you said the shortest route is um, more dangerous, but I'm blood right now. I, I deal with danger. So, yeah, but it seems like it did kick her up the arse and all of that. Uh, but there's got to be something to knock a bit of common sense, surely, in... in um, in Octavia. I love the Bella, uh, the Bell Arc scene as well. Um, when they were like sitting together and all of that while like, cause that's the thing. It seems like everyone is out of it. Like uh, Octavia, especially everyone is, it seems like Bellamy and Clark, um, whilst they've been traveling, it seems like they are so out of place. And, um, like they only, uh, at the time, now that everyone's, uh, reunited, uh, that circle can expand. Well, you wouldn't really call two people together being a circle, I guess. But my point stands, um, that they felt like they are the normal ones, I guess. The ones that hasn't been corrupted by this darkness and all of that. Uh, even Clark going as far as to saying that Bellamy has grown as a person, uh, regarding the fact that he could have done something about those people on on uh, the the 283 um so if anything i i guess in in clark's and and bellamy's head i guess um bellamy has evolved and um there's that respectability and survivability especially from clark because she had to live on the earth so um and there was no certainty that that clark did survive so there's that respectability there's that evolution i guess whereas octavia and everyone who survived in the bunker they seemingly have um degressed i guess um it, it it's this degeneration i guess in terms of um in terms of of normality i guess because th they are completely devoted to one group and this ruthless way i mean yes they are more calmer now that they don't have to fight to the death but they are following uh, a leader who is absolutely like who bellamy knows so well obviously uh and he feels that octavia has just lost some um lost her way in a sense as well as a lot of other like me i guess and maybe you guys will feel that way as well uh who's watched the hundred you guys will feel like octavia has kind of lost uh it's and and she's become a bit more ruthless and a, a lot more colder um and now that she's threatened bellamy yeah that 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 feeling might stick with bell so yeah um but i i enjoyed that scene together um because they, I think Bellamy needs this, especially seeing how um, Octavia has succumbed to the dark side. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, that was episode um, five of season five of The Hundred. Very grim. Very grim indeed. Uh, with the alien with the face hooker thing-ish, kind of similar to that. I mean, it was, definitely. Um, with the way the belly was going. Oof. <laughs> Don't eat, Liam. Don't eat. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys next time. Great episode. Season 5. Rocking it. Awesome stuff. But yeah, I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. You can check my videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content. You can also subscribe to my media feeds channel if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope you guys take care. And I will see you guys next time. Toodles!